In this illustration, we intend to simulate the TIG welding process or the same GTAW process in the Abacus software. In this question, the two passes welding process is applied on the pipe. The type of welding process in this question is TIG or tungsten inert gas. In this picture, the temperature graph obtained from the Abacus software is compared with experimental results. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Evaluation Effects of Modeling Parameters on the Temperature Fields and Residual Stresses of Butt-Welded Stainless Steel Pipes. As previously told, the type of process having been performed in this article is TIG welding. This question deals with the welding process on the pipe. In this picture, you can observe the diagram of the pipe's temperature. In this question, the Goldax double ellipsoid model has been used in order to simulate the body heat flux. Click on create step. In the step one, the first welding pass is done. Here, I will select heat transfer and continue. As explained in the article, the time period of the first welding pass is equal to 255.17 seconds. In this picture, the calculation of time period of each welding pass can be observed. We will use the formula V is equal to X divided by T. X stands as the circle parameter. T stands as the time period and V is the linear velocity. Here the circle parameter is equal to 2 pi r and the linear velocity as explained in the article is equal to 80 millimeters per minute and we should, uh, we should convert that into a meter per second. Here, I will divide 80 by 60. Then divide that by 1000. In this manner, the linear velocity will be equal to 0 0.0013 meters per second. As you observe, the time period of the first welding pass is equal to 255.17 seconds. I will increase maximum number of increments, enter initial increment size equal to 0.01 seconds. I'll click on create. In this step, the cooling process is implemented. 
Then I will select Heat Transfer and continue. As explained in the article, the time period for the cooling process is 1800 seconds. Click on seed part, enter approximate global size equal to one millimeter and OK. I will click on seed edge, select these two lines. Done. And consider three elements for them. I will then click on mesh part and yes. As you observe, fine meshes have been used in the area where the welding process is underway. In this article, Goldex double ellipsoid model has been used for defining volumetric heat flux. Here, the Goldex double ellipsoid model formula can be observed. Actually, we should use these two formulae in order to define the volumetric heat flux. We should utilize subroutine deflux for defining the volumetric heat flux using Goldax double ellipsoid model. This formula is related to the front of the ellipse and this one is related to the rear of the ellipse. As you observe here, in this formula there are parameters such as FF, Q, a, B, C, F. Here I will explain about all of them. Here we should convert the linear velocity into angular velocity. Here the manner of this conversion has been explained. Meanwhile you can use the V is equal to R omega formula as well. Omega is the angular velocity, the unit of which is radian per second. R stands as radius, the unit of which is meter, and V stands as the linear velocity, the unit of which is meter per second. In this picture, you can observe Goldex double ellipsoid model. As it is quite clear in this picture, A is the width of ellipse, B is the depth of the ellipse, CF is the front ellipse, and CR is the rear ellipse. Actually, the parameters the A, B, C, F, and C, R have been distinguished for each welding pass in this table. In the next step, we intend to draw the diagram of the temperature for pipe. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software in which the horizontal axis is time and the vertical axis is temperature. This diagram has been drawn for the second welding pass 
on weld line. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output and continue. Here I will select Unique Nodal, then Temperature. Select this node and click on Save. Here you can observe the temperature di diagram. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is time and the second column is temperature. Here the diagram having been drawn with green color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close uh, to those mentioned in the article. As explained in the article, the maximum of temperature is about 2200 centigrade. Actually, the maximum temperature obtained from the experimental results is equal to 2200 centigrade. The maximum temperature obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 2078 centigrade. Actually, there is a difference equal to 5.5% uh, between the results obtained from the Abacus software and the experimental results, indicating that the results obtained from the Abacus software are correct.